Just as a reminder, the, um, the ratio is two parts concrete mix to one part water. I don't know who would be dumb enough to screw that up. Ruh -roh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, crap. Wow, everyone! <laughs> I'm at Menards. I've never been here. Apparently that's mind-blowing that I've never been to Menards, but I have never been to Menards. I wanted to call it Maynards, but it's Menards. Um, I don't know, let's see what they have. Apparently they have everything, so maybe I need something. Okay, so they kind of literally do have everything. <laughs> <laughs> they have like a grocery store. It's like a full-on grocery store minus the produce section. So not buying anything today, but Menards. I'm on I'm on the train. <laughs> the Menards train. This is cool. Hello! <laughs> Howdy ho, all y'all. Uh let's keep working on this countertop. What do we have to do today? Well, first of all, I need to make a 2x4 uh, insert to go in here <clears throat> so that this is the same thickness as the outside. So um, the first thing I need to do is measure that and go cut it. It is negative a 10 outside, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be real fast. Uh, I don't even know if I'll take the camera. I'm just going to go cut the wood fast and get back in here. But I do need to measure this first, so I'll do that. Um, then the next thing I need to do, once I get that screwed in, is uh, sand all these rough spots off of this first layer, and it's time for the second layer of uh, concrete. I don't think the second layer will be it. I think it'll take a third layer, but I don't know. Let's find out. First, let's measure this. Okay, so I cut this wood very quickly, <laughs> very, very quickly, um, sweet. So what I'm doing is just making a box, a super simple box, just like this, and that is perfect, I measured perfectly. It's gonna go underneath, but I'm putting it here right now just to, 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 to drill it, and then I'm gonna stick it underneath. It's going. Right there. It's gonna go right there. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna put it right there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drill. Okay, I'm not gonna go ahead and drill. I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and drill. Do this. Awesome. I want this to go really fast once I have that underneath there where it belongs. Because it's gonna be, it's like hanging, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and start these. You know, and that's the cool thing about this concrete is I'm you know I'm drilling through it, but then I can just cover it up because I've still got more layers. Okay. So, uh, okay, corner number one is easy, also easy. Okay, I'm gonna put a few more screws in here just to be safe, but it's really sturdy, <clears throat> so I'm not worried about it. But these won't hurt, will they? No. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that's great. That's awesome. Let me show you this just a little bit more closely. There we go. So now we just need to take our uh, rasp. We're gonna rough that up just like we did the other stuff. And then it's time for another layer of concrete. Ooh. Okay, next stop is sanding. I have some 80 green uh, sandpaper. I'm going to, um, I'm not gonna sand it a lot. I'm just gonna sand down. There's places where, you know, like a little glob dried here and there. I'm just getting those off. I don't wanna like sand it, sand it smooth. You can sand it smooth. You would wanna use this and then a, a <clears throat> more fine grain um, sandpaper, but I am going for a very rough, very rustic look. However, I don't want any huge, you know, I don't want like huge globs poking anybody. Um, so I am of course going to sand it a little bit, but I'm going to keep mine pretty rustic, but you don't have to, you can just sand it down to like super, super, super smooth if you want. Um, I don't want, but you can do that. See like right here, I love that texture. So I'm going to sand it just a little bit. So it's like slightly smooth, but I want to keep that. I like it. That's what I'm going for. Dickens out of it and uh, it's good. It's ready to go. It's ready for more concrete. Okay, I did four scoops of water, eight, four scoops of water, so eight scoops of concrete. Right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, it's on. So, but I don't know what that means. It's on. <laughs> it's mixed. That's what it is. Um, so, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get up in here, <clears throat> inside of this tr <laughs> trash hole. <laughs> uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> put a first layer in here. Um, and then, we're going to get some on the rest of this bad boy. Uh, and, you know, I, again, I think it's going to take three coats, but <clears throat> I also think that there's gonna be a big difference after the second coat. It might not take a third coat. Um, if it doesn't, that's awesome. But I definitely think that this is going to cover it almost entirely. And so that's pretty exciting because I'm going to be able to see exactly like, what it's really going to look like once it dries. So I also just realized that I don't have, an, I don't have enough concrete for my second countertop piece. So I'm gonna to have to order some more, which I should have known that I wasn't really uh, planning very well. <laughs> I, I, if I would have thought about it, I would have known that I needed more. Um, so second countertop is going to have to wait until that arrives. But um, that doesn't mean we're not going to have a real good idea of how this stuff works. Um, the seal sealant is on the way, the concrete. Um, I don't know what you call it. I mean, it's sealant. Um, I mean, one thing to note is you can't use regular concrete sealer on this. Well, you can, you can, but you can, not for a countertop, you can't put food on it. I mean, not that I wanna like smear all my food on the countertop before I eat it, but I don't know, I just, food gets on the countertop and then you eat it <laughs> sometimes, or I don't know, I do. Maybe I'm revealing awkward things. Um, I don't think so. You want, um, you want food grade sealant. Why not, guys, why not? So um, anyway, that's kind of difficult to find. I've looked at for it a lot of places, well not a lot, I looked at it for it at Lowe's, I looked for it today at Menards and just <clears throat> nobody has any because really the only application is in countertops. <clears throat> and I don't think concrete countertops are quite popular enough yet that Lowe's in BFE Missouri carries it. <laughs> so anyway, it's on the way, I ordered it. So let's let's do this. I don't have to talk to you the whole time. Uh, let's time lapse this. Uh, we'll look at it when it's done and then we'll look at it when it's dry. <laughs> Okay, so 
so I got the top on, or I got the top done. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> um, so now I'm going to focus on, well, right now I'm focusing on this. I totally, hmm. That's the great thing about this stuff is you can just fix stuff. <laughs> if you messed up, you just put it where it needs to go. Sweet. Um, so now I'm going to do uh, the sides and the bottom. Uh, the th you know the things that I read, the other people who have done this, who whose advice I took, uh, they all kind of said the same thing: that the um, the sides and the edges were the biggest pains in the butts. And uh, I, yeah, they're right. <laughs> you know, it's really easy to do the top, but these corners are gonna take a little bit more finesse. Um, and then these are just kind of like a little bit of a pain, the sides. But um, I'm just gonna mix up some more concrete and just do them, I'm just gonna knock them out. You can see how fast it dries. I mean, this is already starting to dry. It's because it's not very thick of a coat, but it is taking quite a bit more than I expected. It's definitely taking more concrete than last time. So that's awesome. I don't think this is gonna be enough, but I'm almost out of concrete. So we might have to take a break and do other things <laughs> after this video. Um, and we'll see, I don't know. Okay, so I think the only way to really put the the effort into uh, <laughs> the sides, I think I just got to get down here. So I've got a slightly smaller spreader thingy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. One of these. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so I just want to get under here. I want to make sure that all of these... Yeah, I, I just want to give all of this a little bit of attention. Um, so... Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do the sides and I'm gonna do the bottoms and then I'm gonna do the edges. And the edges, um, I kinda have to do those by hand. Gotta get my hands dirty. <laughs> so let's, this is gonna take a while. So let's do all these sides. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> fun part <laughs> um, these edges are really tough to it's just tough with that thing to get to get it on the edges um, so I'm just like literally kind of smearing it um, you know again I'm not worried about the texture because I'm going to sand it down and I want it to be pretty rough um, <clears throat> So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm almost done with this. Um, one interesting thing to note is that uh, the concrete starts to harden. <laughs> so, uh, I'm also in a race for time because this concrete is setting up. So I have to put my phone down. I'll be back. Ugh. You guys, this is so exciting. It looks really good. It's dried. I'm just starting, well it's not dried all the way, I'm just doing the bits that I know are really dry. Just so I can see how they're going to turn out, and I just freaking love it! <laughs> yeah, oh man, this is going to be so cool! <laughs> okay, so I have to let it dry dry, um, but I've got to gotta wrap up this video. So I'm going to let it dry dry, look at it! Oh man! Check out my trash hole. <laughs> um, it looks, I really like it guys, like a lot. And the cool thing is, is once I stain it, well not really stain it, I mean I guess it's technically stained. I'm not doing like a crazy color or anything. But once I get it done, it's gonna look, it's not gonna have this like dusty finish. I'm not doing like a high gloss, but I'm not doing, um, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I'm just distracted because I really like it. <laughs> a lot. It's going to be so cool. And I love how much texture it has. Um, 
Yeah! Sweet! Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I am gonna do a little more patchwork on this, so we're just gonna have to deal with another video about concrete countertops. And in fact, this is only one of them. <laughs> There's another one to do too. Um, but I've gotta wait for my sealer to come. You know what how it arrives tomorrow? My torch. Oh, Shashuki Bon, uh, coming your way. Guys, don't forget, Saturday, December 30th, I'm uh, going live at 8 p.m. We're gonna talk about all kinds of things. We're gonna do some Q and A's. I'm gonna be with my best buddy, Shanna Shrum. Uh, she is a uh, brilliant comedian uh, in Chicago. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna talk about Patreon. We're gonna just do all kinds of things. So be there. It's gonna be real fun. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.